Hi there. I just made a blanket for $25. Shh, don't tell anybody. It looks like it's worth a lot more. Come on and I'll show you. <music> Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm Rhonda and yes, I made a lapkin, a lap size blanket. It worked up to 45 by 36 before the border. So I added a border, it made it even bigger and it cost about $25 and it actually turned out beautiful. Now with this blanket, I tried three times before I got what I wanted. So I frogged two blankets close to completion. And here is what they look like before I frogged them. They look okay, but they turned out really warped and I just wasn't happy with them. So I got rid of them. And my end product, I love. I don't like to stop until I love what I make. I need to want it for myself. If I find it hard to give away, then I know I did a good job. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to show you what I used and then I'm going to show you the blanket. So the major portion of the blanket was made from fuzzy yarn I purchased at the Dollar Tree in Canada. So I noticed that the yarn available in United States Dollar Tree and the yarn available in Canadian Dollar Tree might be different. So I'm not sure if you're in the United States if you have this, but it would work with any budget yarn really. Um, so this is Crafters Square Knitting Yarn. It's a fuzzy yarn, which is why I frogged a lot because it's hard to get it right with this fuzzy yarn. And if you haven't seen my prior video on fuzzy yarn, take a look. I will link you to it and you can see what else I made with fuzzy yarn. I used a different method that was a bit of a cheating method. This time I used a specific stitch which had been mentioned by one of my viewers in the comment section and I really appreciated that because I kind of came to the same conclusion on the best stitch for this yarn so I'll be discussing that with you as well. So I use this in two different colors. Um, and this one, I used about 14 of them. They are only these little babies, 41 yards long, 50 gram balls. They are a five weight, so it went a long way, but I used about 14, so it came to $21 plus tax. I didn't include the tax, that's okay. So that's that. Now, the other thing I used, this came in my Mary Maxim mystery bag and I did use this before. So again, go back and take a look at my prior fuzzy yarn blanket and you will see this yarn and I tell you what it is. I no longer have the label. It's almost all gone. I had two large skeins of this and I used it up. Now it did come in a mystery bag. So the cost of it relatively was really low because of course a mystery bag, you get a lot of yarn. So I used that as well. And I used some Pound of Love White for the border. And I didn't use that much. I mean, I've used this yarn before and I still have this much left over. It's quite a lot. So that was negligible in the amount of money I paid for it because I used so little. And I also used this Premier Toy Box yarn. And honestly, I can't remember exactly how much I used, but I only paid $3 a skein for these and I didn't use that much of it. You'll see when I show you the blanket where I used it, it's just a little bit in the border. And it wasn't even a plan. This was actually yarn that was sent to me by mistake. It wasn't a color I ordered. It wasn't a color that I chose, fell in love with, but it really came in handy when I took a look for a yarn to complete this blanket and I remembered I had this and when I looked at it, I thought, wow, this is perfect. So you're probably thinking, just show us the darn blanket already, lady. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you the darn blanket. So here it is. Okay, here it is. This is a complimentary project to my granddaughter blanket. I had to make one for my grandson and I am thrilled with the way it turned out. Now I made my granddaughter a lovey and I used the granny square for the lovey and somebody had mentioned I use the granny stitch 
when I'm making a blanket or when I'm doing anything with the fuzzy yarn, that's what I use. And I thought like, duh, of course, because when I made the lovey, now I combined the yarn, but I noticed that the granny stitch was easiest for the fuzzy yarn. And the reason is because you're working into spaces as opposed to stitches. With fuzzy yarn, it's very hard to see your stitches, but spaces are much more well-defined. So any stitch pattern you're using with fuzzy yarn, uh, you could do it my way that I showed you, my cheating way that I show you in my video. If you haven't watched it, you'll have to do that. Or you could do a stitch pattern where you're working into spaces, not stitches, like the granny stitch. So that's what this is, and it leaves such a beautiful pattern. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to stand up and show you what it looks like in its entirety. It's a great size for a two-year-old. It's a great size for a lapgan. I mean, that is the size of a lapgan, just to be sitting down and warm yourself up. And look at that. And to take a closer look, I did the stripes like my... Um, garden tea party stripes i reversed the colors if you haven't seen that i'll link you to that as well you'll have to take a look at that so i use the same principle different stitch but you can see how the granny stitch brings out this beautiful pattern and you can see the middle part is just the same colors but in reverse and here is the oh the edging I did one row of the granny stitch and it looks like dots, so that's pretty. It almost looks like puff stitches, but it's just the granny stitch one row at a time. And look at how that puzzle yarn worked out beautifully. It just goes so well with the green and the blue and the white. It's so perfect. I couldn't believe it. And I don't know if you noticed yet, look at the border. Now they are going to look a little bit squishy in places, but you can see it's a parade of elephants. 50 elephants in this blanket. 50. So the blanket I made for my granddaughter has bunnies around the edge and there's 30 bunnies. This is a bit bigger of a blanket. More elephants. 50. That's a lot of elephants. And at first it seemed like a lot of work, just like the bunnies. But then once you get going, you build momentum. You don't need to look at the pattern or tutorial anymore. You just figure it out after three and bang, bang, bang. You just pump them out. All these elephants. So I'll stand back a little bit so you can see the whole thing. And that was... $25 and I think it's beautiful I'm super happy with how it turned out but that's not all because I never just make one thing I've got to make coordinating things and again referring back to my other fuzzy yarn blanket where I made the bunny blanket with the bunny lovey for my granddaughter I couldn't just give my grandson a blanket. I had to make him a toy that went with it. And I wanted to make sure that it was a matching toy. So I made him this elephant. Isn't that cute? And I used the same colors, but this is not the fuzzy yarn. This is just regular acrylic yarn that I had in my stash in worsted weight. I put on a little bit of the toy box yarn for his little neck tie and I made him a little tail and I used 24-7 white cotton, the um, Lion Brand 24-7 mercerized cotton so he's nice and sturdy and he goes so well with the blanket. Perfect colors. So I hope this turns into a happy blanket and a happy toy for both of my grandchildren and just know that you can make special blankets and they don't have to cost a ton of money. You can use budget yarn and make it special. And of course you want to make sure it's going to wash well through wear and tear. So that's definitely a concern. Uh, if it's a baby blanket, they're going to use it for a specific period of time. I did actually wash a swatch with the original planned blanket I just put the three different yarns together and I threw them in 
the hand wash cycle in the washing machine and this is how it came out perfect perfect absolutely perfect it just washed up so nicely I did not put it in the dryer and actually it didn't come out soaking wet you might think with fuzzy yarn it would come out soaking wet it didn't and it washed up beautifully and you know I've pre-checked these other yarns that that I used as well but I didn't I didn't complete the blanket with these so I'm not going to talk about that but I just wanted to show you how that washes up so I was happy with that so while I've been taking so much time in between videos I've been making other things Hobie had an event on where you could make something every day and it was representing Denmark and I was all planned to do it and excited to do it and started making something and then I got caught up in these blankets and I never got a chance to do it but I did make a few things that I wanted to show you just little things and they're really cute so the first project for the Denmark event was uh, you needed to make something that represented Denmark so I had it all planned out and I was going to make something that incorporated certain things that represented Denmark so I went and I researched and I saw that the flower of Denmark is a daisy and I was going to put this daisy on something but never got around to it so I turned it into like maybe a little keychain so I thought that was really cute so I made that and the fruit of Denmark strawberry so I could do the same with the strawberry I could turn it into a little keychain it really turned out adorable I'm liking that and I made something else but this wasn't a Denmark thing this was when I was making my garden tea party set and I was making the tote bag and again go back and take a look at it if you haven't seen my garden tea party set videos it's a series of three videos go back and take a look because it's pretty fabulous I'm happy with the way it turned out uh, the third one is a tote bag and I wanted to make a bird but this bird turned out too large but I still love it and it could be used for just hanging in a window or anything that you want it to be and I love the way it turned out this yellow bird and these are projects I find I go and I look and I find them and then I lose them so just I'm not going to be very helpful there but I just wanted to show you what I made and I love it okay so that's what I've been busy with but there's more so if you go back and look at my happy mail and there's two videos there in the first video this lovely woman who gave me this really generous generous happy mail if you haven't seen it go take a look you'll want to see that for sure again another link I'm gonna link you to it she gave me these little balls of yarn that had a hat topper on it and they were made for knitting so go take a look and you'll see what they look like there's two of them I had to go to a medical appointment with my hubby and I knew I was going to be in the waiting room and I wasn't going to take my blanket I was shy about five elephants on my blanket there's no way I was going to take that bulkiness to an appointment and I thought well this is perfect I'm going to take this little ball of yarn and make a hat well the thing is the pattern is for knitting I have learned that crochet is quicker but takes more yarn so this ball of yarn was made for a knitted hat and when I started making it I ran short pretty quick so I incorporated my own yarn and made it my own so I wanted to show you that as well so here's the hat that I made and the yarn that came with the ball is this yarn which is really interesting it's a very neutral color but if you look closely I don't know if you can see it but in the fibers you can see some of the blue purple color in it and then it came with this yarn which is really pretty with the greens and the purple and that I think it's a light blue in there and then this fuzzy violet yarn and you can see that I used still some of this yarn I had left over and I used it here and in the top so I'm happy with the way it came out and I pulled out 
this light blue yarn from my stash because I thought it went perfectly with the star or as close as I could get and I just finished it off and then to make it all flow from top to bottom I made an edging here I started with a single crochet around and then I did a reverse single crochet to make this pretty texture in it I don't know if you can see it and so I'm quite happy with that and that will go to my granddaughter I hope she likes it so that is another project I worked on and I have one that's in progress so for the one in progress I am using this loops and threads flex yarn and it looks like this and some people complain about it that it's very splitty yarn it is very splitty yarn but I don't mind the splittiness of it I'm managing fine with it what I didn't like is that it started off in a tangled mess and I had to untangle it because I pulled it from the inside two strands came out they were all tangled together I wasn't happy with that I know sometimes especially with uh, the pound of love in the end it gets all tangled and it's annoying and that's the only thing I don't like about the lion brand pound of love but um, typically when I start I'm expecting it to come out of the skein or come off of it easily without tangling. Tangling should be at the end, not at the beginning. It's not a great start, but the yarn is super soft. This yarn is 79% acrylic, 21% polyester. It's got these little flecks in it. Really pretty. This is the colorway uh, light pink. And it is a hand wash yarn, so that is the bad thing if you're using it for baby. But I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing because when you have small little things and they're hand done, it really isn't a big deal in my mind to hand wash. I know mums are busy, but um, I've even thrown hand wash things in the hand wash cycle in a mesh bag. So it could be done that way as well. And I think that would protect it enough. Uh, so anyways, that's this yarn. And this skin is 355 yards of yarny goodness, 185 grams. And it is considered a four weight. I do think it's a light four weight. But anyways, so I use this yarn and I'm making a romper for my granddaughter. And I've only started it and I'm using a tutorial that I found online. I'll link you to it. But I found that using this yarn, it came out really short. So I actually frogged the part near the bottom and I'm going to be adding on to it. But I think it came out pretty. I like it. So there's the top part and I'll be adding on to it. And perhaps I'll do some embellishments. I will show you when it's finished. But these are all the projects I've been working on. Mostly I wanted to show you this blanket. I'm super pleased with it. I hope you like it too. It's really helpful if you leave me comments. I like to know what you're thinking. Um, and it's just great to see what you have to say. So please leave a comment below. Please leave me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you like to see what I make, please subscribe, hit that notification bell and get all notifications so you don't miss something. I want you to see everything I make. I'm super happy to show it to you and I want you to see it all. So there'll be more coming. Stay tuned. It won't all be blankets. It won't take me as long and I can't wait to show you what I'm up to next. Take care. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.